All right, fellas, uh, I want to jump on here and uh, do a little update. I haven't made a video in about a week. Uh, got kind of lazy, I guess. Uh, getting, I think I'm getting a little burnout, but uh, I just got through uh, shooting some clear on that uh, 49 Merc this morning, and I'll show you that here in a minute. Uh, but I think, you know, I'm looking at all my stash and stuff here, and I, I think that at some point, uh, I'm going to do a video on some of the models that I built this year. I've got, let me go back here. You can see it, my workbench. I've got uh, quite a few models in the plastic cases sitting up here. And uh, I think I might do a video on some of the builds that I did for 2022. There's some of the little uh, die casts that I bought. I get these at Hobby Lobby. When I see something that strikes my fancy, I go ahead and buy it because I think they're pretty cool looking. All right, let me get my chair here. All right, boys, here's the 49 Merc. Uh, I'm not sold on this paint job. Um, I mean, it, it came out okay. It's nice. And, you know, this has just got the clear on it. Hasn't been polished or anything, but it looks a little blotchy to me. Eh? I don't know what the heck. I don't know. I, there was more than enough paint shot on it. So, and look at this deck lid. I mean, it's nice and shiny before I even polish, but it just looks uh, kind of hazy to me. And uh, the body, I don't think, is quite as bad. But it just looks blotchy. I'm not sure what happened. You can see more on the top. See on the top there? It just looks kind of blotchy. I don't know what the heck. I mean... Like like I did have done the last quite a few paint jobs that come out good. You know, I prepped the body good, uh, prime, sand, uh, wet sand, then uh, shoot the uh, top coat on wet sand, then shoot the clear on wet sand. And then once I'm done with clear, I wet sand it and polish it. So I'm not sure what happened with this. I, that paint, I know it's just a regular gun metal. Uh, it's the, uh, to me, is acrylic paint. And it was just called gunmetal, but it, I swear when I was mixing it up, you, like you could see flake in it, like it was a metallic. And every time I would mix paint and go to shoot uh, the body again, uh, I'd seem to get a different, a little bit different shade of color. So I'm not sure what the heck, I mean, I was mixing it really well, so I don't know what happened. Uh... I don't have that bottle out here right now. I don't see it. But uh, the cap is a lot darker than this. And that's what I was really hoping for, a dark gunmetal. But, uh, I mean, this looks okay. But uh, I just, uh, I'm not sure about that blotchy. So, like I said, I'm just not sold on this paint job yet. Uh, I'm going to let this cure out for a few days. And then I'll uh, get after it and get her all shined up and polished and everything. But, uh, I, like I said, just not sold on this one yet. All right, let me move this out of the way here, and uh, I'll show you. Here's that ramp truck. I'm really disappointed in this one on Mobius and myself, I guess. You know, this all started off when I got the kit. It had a lot of warped parts, and I waited for quite a while for parts to come in, and after a couple months, I just went ahead and put the daggone thing together, and uh, yeah, it was warped. Still warped. And uh, you know what? After I got it together and got it painted about a week later, uh... My, the parts came in from Mobius, but the that piece right there that came in from that was still warped. So they've got a pretty good issue with that, uh, some of that stuff there. But uh, and then uh, I uh, what was it I tried to do? I, I painted a white top on it on the cab at one point, and after I pulled the tape off. The uh, residue from the tape stayed on the door side, so I had to strip the cab back down and repaint it, and it didn't uh, come out and match the rest of the <coughs> excuse me truck. So I had to reshoot the whole truck, and you know I, I got it. I got a uniform color on it now, but uh, <laughs> then let me move this out of the way. And I need to stop doing this. I have a bad habit of when I'm getting ready to glue something, I'll put a dab or two of glue down here on the instructions, and then take a toothpick and apply it. And I forgot about that glue there, and daggone it, I set that hood, you can see it right in that center section there, 
that there's glue right there on that center section. Yeah, it kind of messed her up, but uh, <laughs> that that's my fault. And then I'm, there's it, it just doesn't show on camera, but there is, and you know this paint cured out for a pretty good while. This paint has got fingerprints in it still, uh, and I can't get them out, and I don't know why. I've never had this issue before, uh, but there's fingerprints in it. Wish I could see some of those. I think there was one on the hood here. Maybe you can see a little bit right in there, but uh, it's got fingerprint in it. How in the heck? I don't know. I don't know, but uh, this one's getting close. You know, I only, <laughs> I don't know what I'm gonna do with this thing. I'm, I'm just really, I'm not gonna do. I'm not gonna try and put a white top back on that. I'm just, I've just kind of lost interest in this thing here, and uh, you know, this thing is really not my, not my style anyway. But uh, I'll go ahead and finish it. I got the interior tub. I did it in a. I tried another color and uh, I didn't like it, so uh, I just shot it all um, black inlays on the seats and everything, and and Molotov pin on the handles and stuff, and got the uh, just painted this morning the. Uh, steering wheel and column and the uh, uh, foot pedal assembly. But, uh, gotta get the uh, chrome pieces. Where are those chrome pieces? See these chrome pieces where I painted the, the, the lights on it? Those go up on the on the hood, up towards the front. And on the back of these, there is a little bitty <coughs> nub sticking out that is supposed to, let me see if I can get this to focus. Go See that little slot right there on the side of the hood? It's supposed to set in there and they don't set in there. They do not set in there. So I'm gonna have to sand off uh, these little nubs. Let me see if I can get one here. Show you. See that little nub on the back? I'm gonna have to sand that off of there. Uh, oops. Didn't mean to make y'all dizzy. I'm gonna have to sand those off there to get them to lay down flat on the side of the hood, I guess. But uh, I guess I'm getting kind of close. Uh, I don't know. I've got the, uh, here's the engine uh, for the uh, 49 Merc. I, I decided to go with that uh, uh, that 440 cubic inch engine that they gave you in there. The option instead of the uh, flatty. I thought I'd save that flatty for something. Something else. I got something in mind I might want to use that flatty for. So I thought I'd go with this. All right, fellas. Uh, I think that's about it. I just wanted to kind of do an update on where I was at with the, uh, <coughs> Excuse me on the 49 Merc getting the uh, clear on the paint and uh, the ramp truck uh, Here's the tires of course. I already did a mock-up of this thing, but here's the tires and wheels for the 49 Merc uh, I found some white walls in the parts box. They're not real wide white walls But they are white walls because this kit does not come with white walls, so I'm gonna go with those I guess but uh, All right fellas, I think that's about it. I'm gonna wrap her up here and uh We'll catch you on the flip side. I'm out of here.